Hi everyone, welcome to a new studio vlog. Thank you so much if you watched last week's, I hope you enjoyed it. I had a few lovely comments, so I think we'll carry on and do a new one. There's Penny's there in the background, if you see her, curled up into a tiny little ball. It amazes me how small she can actually get sometimes. So today is a Thursday, it's Thursday afternoon, and I have done quite a lot this week but I've just not been filming my mug as I've been doing it. So this week I have been making bow ties, collars again, packaging them up, posting them out. And I've also had a delivery of a new tripod. I have a DSLR camera and I don't have anywhere for it to sit. So I invested in a tripod, which I will be unboxing in this studio vlog. So stay tuned for that. Earlier this week I had a little delivery because I actually posted my studio vlog last week. I didn't know whether I was going to do because of the inner voices telling me not to, but because I did, I treated myself to a little bit of kit. What did I get? I got this. It is a Manfrotto compact action tripod compact action so i got this off amazon and it was 54 pounds at the time that i bought it which is not cheap but i thought as a beginner it is a good place to start it's not too expensive but i've heard good things about it so i thought i would unbox it the manfrotto compact action tripod with a joystick head and it says it has an innovative circular quick release for effortless camera attachment, regulating dial to enhance camera stability, ergonomic handle with lock unlock wheel mechanism, photo video selection for maximum freedom in any situation. So this is the box, this is what you'll get and let's have a look inside. Opens easy, and you get a little carry case. That's everything. It's quite neat, isn't it? It's quite small. So let me quick open up. There you go. And then I believe. This is a little adapter if you have a Sony camera because they have curved bottoms. So 
that allows it to be mounted on the top and there we go so i bought it because the tripod that you're on now it's for phones obviously the quality is not brilliant and i do have a dslr camera so i wanted a tripod that i could use with the proper camera i do like the one that you're on now because it's got its own light so you don't need a, a, a ring light or anything like that but I figured I can still use the tripod with the light with this tripod as well. So nothing's going to go to waste. So it does go quite tall. So you can flick all of these out and, you know, the legs do extend quite far. I think for the most part, I will use it on the table as it is now. And then you can obviously lift that up if you want it a little bit higher. So this is the top. This is where you mount the camera. And it's got an easy, quick release there. So just undo that. And then this little doodah pops out and then that's what attaches to your camera so it's just got a cover to protect the thread and then it simply just pops back in there and click that on and then you've got your camera attached and yeah i just think it's really neat <laughs> So this week I've been working a lot on my Instagram. In the past I've always just posted as and when I can and I've found that a lot of the time it doesn't really help. It doesn't help to grow my account and it doesn't help increase the engagement with people that are following me. So I'm starting to batch produce my content now and start to think a lot more about my branding, the colours that I'm using and actually what I'm posting on Instagram as well. It's not a great thing to just post about your products all the time. And before, when I had a product launch, I would just bombard my Instagram account. And then I'd find I don't have much engagement with the people that are following me. So I'm thinking about the types of posts that I'm putting up there and looking at different ways to get more engagement with everybody. I've been thinking about my branding colours. Before, I've always used that turquoise blue colour. But when I looked at my feed over the last few months, I didn't really like the way it looked. So I thought I'd bring in the three colours that I use for Penny Lou and try and make that more of a theme going through the rest of my feed. I'm not as afraid to show my face on video anymore and I think that has really, really helped. If you do follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen I've been more active on stories. Using reels, that's been a really good help. So I will be doing that a lot more in the future. As a result of that, I recently achieved 2,000 followers which has seemed to have taken a long time to do. I got stuck around 1700 for a while. Last week, I did reach the 2000 followers mark, so I'm pretty pleased about that. I really think that all of the things I've just been talking about has really helped with me to achieve that. Just a minute, Penny's knocking on the door. Come in. No, just knocking and running. Okay. Going out. Oh. I'm really hoping that all this hard work is going to increase engagement on my social media. It's okay to have a lot of followers. People do get quite fixed on the numbers, but I'd rather have less numbers and more people engaging with me than vice versa. So it's coming up to half term for us. We are going away for a week. We're going for a break at a log cabin in Northumberland, which I can't wait for. So next week, I'm going to be getting ready for that. And then on Friday, the 25th of February, I have a really exciting event that I'm going to attend, which I don't think I've made enough of. And I don't think I've told a lot of people that I, that is happening, but I am attending the Small Business Sunday event held by Theo Papitas. Back in August 2021, I won SBS, which is over on Twitter that Theo runs. So SBS allows me access to a whole range of resources that I wouldn't otherwise have access to. You get chosen out of hundreds of different small businesses and you get to be part of the SBS family and I got chosen in August 2021 so I'm going to a big event that's being held on Friday the 25th of February which is the day after I get back from holiday so I've got to prepare for that as well. I'll do my best to record as much as I can on the day and when I get back I'll possibly do a video of my experience and how it went maybe give you a little bit more information about SBS in general. If that's something you'd like to see let me know in the comments below. Any questions, any comments, any feedback, let me know. As usual, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to end the video here. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I'll see you all next week. Bye guys.